Hey guys, I am going for a ride on my math wasp, but he is tired. He could use your help filling up his energy by doing some math. Today he wants to do subtraction problems with mixed numbers. Let's learn about subtraction with mixed numbers, then we can go for a ride. If you have learned about adding mixed numbers, then some of what we look at today may seem familiar. But if not, that is no problem, as we will go over the basics of mixed numbers. Here is an interesting problem. 2 and 3 fifths minus 1 and 2 fifths. Do these numbers look funny to you? They are called mixed numbers. Do you know why? A mixed number is comprised of a whole number and a fractional number. Let's take a look at 2 and 3 fifths. The 2 means we have two whole units. This is the whole number. The 3 fifths means we have part of a whole. This is the fraction. In the fraction 3 fifths, we have three parts of a whole that is split into five equal pieces. Now let's look at 1 and 2 fifths. In the mixed number 1 and 2 fifths, we have one whole and two parts of a whole out of five equal parts. See how the shaded regions represent both mixed numbers? We are asked to find the difference between these two numbers, which means we will subtract 1 and 2 fifths from 2 and 3 fifths. I want to show you a strategy called takeaway, which is a fun way to subtract using our rectangular models. OK, let's read the problem again. 2 and 3 fifths minus 1 and 2 fifths. We can also say this as 2 and 3 fifths take away 1 and 2 fifths. This means we want to start with 2 and 3 fifths. Now we want to take away 1 and 2 fifths. We can take away 1 whole first. Now that we've taken the 1 whole, how are we going to take away 2 fifths? Remember, 2 fifths means 2 shaded parts out of the 5 equal parts, so we can take away 2 of the shaded parts of the rectangle. Great job! This is the difference or how much we have left after we subtracted. We have 1 whole and 1 fifth, or 1 and 1 fifth. So the answer is 1 and 1 fifth. Great job, guys! Sometimes it's not easy to use pictures and figures to solve problems. So let's look at finding the difference with only the mixed numbers. Remember how we took away one whole from the two wholes? That's the same as 2 minus 1. And then we took away 2 fifths from 3 fifths, and that's the same as writing 3 fifths minus 2 fifths. After we did the subtraction with the whole numbers and then subtraction with the fractions, we added the whole number to the fractional part to get our mixed number. We show this in mathematics by using grouping symbols around the whole numbers and around the fractions. Notice the plus sign in the middle? That's because we added the one whole to one fifth at the end. Great job! You did it without using pictures. I think you're ready to try another problem with me. Let's find 4 and 1 fifth minus 2 and 4 fifths. Let's do this first using pictures. First we will model 4 and 1 fifth. That means we have 4 holes shaded and 1 shaded part of 5 equal parts, or 1 fifth. Now we want to take away 2 and 4 fifths. That means we take away 2 holes and then we need to take away 4 out of 5 shaded parts. Uh-oh, I only have one shaded part here. What are we going to do? I know we can take one of the whole rectangles and partition or divide it into 5 equal parts. Now we can take away 4 fifths by removing 4 shaded parts. How much is left over? one whole and two fifths. This means four and one fifth minus two and four fifths equals one and two fifths. And we can get rid of the empty rectangle since nothing is shaded. Fantastic, you did a great job modeling the problem, but what does it look like in written form? We started before by subtracting the whole numbers first, and then we tried to subtract the fractional parts. 
Remember, we can use grouping symbols to show the subtraction of the whole numbers and the fractional parts. We know 4 minus 2 is 2, but we got stuck when we needed to subtract 1 fifth minus 4 fifths. Do you remember what we did with the rectangles? That's right, we turned one whole into 5 fifths, or 5 equally shaded parts. To write that by hand, we will split up the 2 into 1 plus 1. And then we will convert 1 into the fraction 5 fifths. Once we had the rectangle with 5 equal parts, then we subtracted 4 fifths from that rectangle. So we want to show 5 fifths minus 4 fifths. We rearrange our problem to look like this. OK, then we found 5 fifths minus 4 fifths was 1 fifth, and we finally combined the two leftover shaded parts. So we have 1 whole plus 1 fifth plus 1 fifth is 1 and 2 fifths. Wow, that was a lot of work. I wonder if there is another way to subtract mixed numbers. I know, how about converting them into improper fractions? Yeah, that will work. Let's try 8 and 1 sixth minus 1 and 3 sixth. To subtract mixed numbers, we can convert each of them into an improper fraction. Now we need to know what an improper fraction is. An improper fraction is one where the numerator or top number is greater than the denominator or bottom number. Like 10 thirds or 7 fourths, these are improper fractions. So how do we convert our mixed numbers into improper fractions? There's a quick trick to remember. First, multiply the denominator by the whole number. 6 times 8 is 48. Then add the numerator. 48 plus 1 is 49. Finally, write that value in the numerator of the improper fraction and keep the same denominator from the mixed number. We now have 49 sixths which is an improper fraction. Great job! Now let's convert 1 and 3 sixths into an improper fraction. First we multiply the denominator by the whole number. 6 times 1, which gives us 6. Then we add the numerator. 6 plus 3 is 9. The improper fraction is 9 sixths. OK, so we know that 8 and 1 sixth minus 1 and 3 sixths is the same as 49 sixth minus 9 sixth. To subtract fractions with the same denominator, we subtract the numerators and leave the denominator. 49 minus 9 is 40. So we have 40 sixth. Notice both the numerator and denominator are even numbers, so the fraction can be simplified. The greatest common factor of both numbers is 2 so we can simplify it this way. We will go over simplifying fractions in another video if you have forgotten how to do that, so look for that video if you need it. Since our problem started as a mixed number, we should write it as a mixed number. To do that, we divide 20 by 3 to get the mixed number. 3 goes into 20, 6 times, with 2 left over. This means 20 thirds is equal to 6 and 2 thirds. Great job! We just used another method to solve subtraction of mixed numbers. You can use any of these methods we did today to help you solve the problems. Whoa! As you can see, the math wasp has tons of energy now. Whoa! See you next time. Goodbye! Hey, slow down! Hey guys, you have a few options here. If you want to subscribe, click the red button below. If you want to watch more awesome stuff, you can click the video on my right or on my left. If you want to check out our awesome new math game called Mage Math, click the link below. You might want to hurry and choose though, because I can't hold on forever. Hurry, choose, uh-oh.